what is good guys we are back for more OUPL week 2 coverage this time with a replay between uh, Black Oblivion and Well You and we see a low Rans as we see Aerodactyl so we have the heat squad here you all know the BBC Kings many Borex team they are known for bringing some heat let's get right into this game I haven't seen this game yet so this is unspoiled for me as we see the Landros a lead off versus the Metagross and I think he will scout for Ice Punch here which means um, he will probably go Magnezone and well you uh, well you makes a lord play goes into landris which covers scarf landris going for earthquake for u-turn if he's helmet landris and covers the magnus on so well he gets up into rocks here i assume and uh black oblivion i think he's gonna scout for hpis here goes into his uh, top lily i've seen the replay until this point and i haven't seen it at this point so we will see what happens now as i think black oblivion I don't know why he didn't just attack. He went goes back into a uh, lander is here. Not really sure what he predicted because well use play here is either go into Tangros or Metagross. And unless he's uh, Z fly that doesn't really Landros doesn't really cover the Tangros. And like it doesn't it also doesn't cover the Metagross because uh, the Landros comes in before the Metagross and like Metagross also has, still has clear body, so like you don't get intimidated off is what I'm trying to say. But yeah, we'll see what happens while he goes into Tangros and I guess well, Black Up Living can get up his rocks here, but so maybe he doesn't have maybe he doesn't have HPIs, maybe it's HP fire Tangros. But yeah, he's gonna go back Black Up Living expecting HPIs back into the chap with Lele here and so I think this time he's gonna go for uh, Moonblast if he specs because the mana growth is obvious. Moonblast HP fire goes for Psyshock. Yeah, I think he I thought he wouldn't go for Psyshock because the Metagross is obvious, but Psyshock would obviously hit the assault as Chang was harder, so I can get behind his play. He's gonna go Magnus on expecting an Ice Punch or Meteor Mash. As you see the Meteor Mash come out. I assume he's gonna try to pivot into a Landris here. So I could see well I could see well you're going for an Ice Punch here because the Landris pivot is super obvious, Imo. And he goes for Mash again, which is an okay play. It's the attack boost, so you can just fire off an ice punch here. Uh, I don't know, maybe he doesn't have ice punch, which is why he might have switched out. He goes into Tangles knowing that Black Oblivion was forced to do earthquake there. As we see the U turn out, this is Assault West Tangles, I, I think, from the damage. And he's probably gonna go for knockoff as Laurentus comes out. And Laurentus, oh, he goes for Gigarin. Laurentus can probably go for Defog here, I don't know. The, the rocks are a bit annoying for the Aerodactyl. I don't know what else he could do. Yeah, he go goes for default, gets rid of the rocks. Laurentus, the god, is inside. I don't even care if Laurentus does work. Like, he has Laurentus on his team. He's a real winner already in my heart. So he gets pursued there. So this Metagross obviously cannot touch Magnezone if he made that pursuit play. Because otherwise he could have just gone for Mash and Hammer on the next turn. Something along those lines. That's I think the... the the Landris didn't have Rocky Helmet, if I recall correctly, from Black Oblivion's side. So it might be get some Yachi Barrier Z move set. Yeah, yeah, I think it might be something like that. And so he brings in the Magnus on here, knowing the Metagross probably can touch it. And I think he can go for Flash Cannon here, which should be a fine play. Oh, he doubles out, which is also an, which is also an option. Into Landris, predicting what? Scouting for the Hammer Arm, good lord. I thought this doesn't have Hammer Arm, but. He didn't scout. That was a great play, yeah. My bad, guys. I didn't even consider that the Metagross didn't show everything yet. Pursuit Hammer was kind of common, so. Good lord, that was a mistake by on my end. You should always scout for Hammer. I'm so good playing Black Oblivion's uh, part, and. We noticed Metagross doesn't have HP. Uh, Ice Punch. He showed Meteor Mash, Pursuit, and Hammer Arm. I don't know if he showed the last move yet. So, I don't know if you know it 100%, but. He's gonna bring in his own land with here, Britling of course. But I think well Black Oblivion is gonna get up his rocks here soon. When he U turns out, wanting to keep up the momentum. I can get behind this play because he just defucked for his Aerodactyl and U turn brings in his Aerodactyl, could have icing scare out the Landris, so that's a potential play for Black Oblivion. He goes in a tap of Lily. I don't know if it's Spax, because like it did 15% with Psyshock to a Metagross, but like it's 4 times resisted, so that might even be Spax, and Metagross has decent defense, even though it wasn't Mega Evolved when the Psyshock got fired off. He's pivoting into Tangles, I assume we're gonna see Moonblast HP Fire, a Z-move Tapu Lele, so oh my lord, all that pummeling, blowing the Tangles in the wind. 
And yeah, well he was gonna pivot out because his turn was obviously would die to Moonblast Slash. Which would be fire at that range of health, I think. And I don't know, maybe he's gonna Metagross, we'll see. Yeah, he goes Metagross here on a Focus Blast, which does 48.5. Nice play by Black Oblivion. He's gonna get Pursued here, yeah. Tap Lilith dies. And you can go into Aerodactyl to revenge this. Or, in, yeah, Aerodactyl. Fire Fang Slash. I don't know if Sponge probably doesn't kill. Probably gonna Fire Fang here, because Ice Fang would probably. I don't know if Ice Fang would kill the Lanos in the next turn. Yeah, he just goes for Earthquake, not running. Maybe he doesn't have Fire Fang or he didn't want to risk a miss. Uh, also, looking at Black Oblivion's uh, team. I think he's a uh, Solvus Magnezone, now that I think about it, because he's like kind of weak to Greninja and... Like, Ash... not Ash Gun, he has a Lorentis for to check the... Yeah, Ash Gun is also a big threat. Like, Lorentis resists Hydro Pump, and he, d he doesn't have a Dark Resist, so like, AV Magnezone is also to resist... To kind of switch into Dark Pulse once, at least, and to switch into HP Fire from... Or Hydro Pump from a regular Grand, potentially. And yeah, but he's kind of weak to Magnus, like... I don't know if it's the mana was set from Welly or if Black Living played well around, but the mana was didn't do that much work so far. But we will see what happens. If he will, um, I think Black Living will switch out here because he's at minus one. You can go for Ice Wing if he predicts the rocks from the Landris, though. Yeah, if he does go for Ice Wing, which is a 2 KO on the Rocky Helm. Landris gets a freeze, which uh, doesn't matter because he saw that immediately. Nice to see that. No hacks. As he U turned, um, potentially predicting the Laurentis. I don't know. Kelio is in his side and Black Oblivion sacks up his Landris here, so no rocks for Black Oblivion this game. As we see, it's probably Scarf Surf Kelio from well use side. Laurentis is back. He can go for Synthesis, he can go for a double switch, or he can go for Leaf, uh, Leaf Storm. Goes for Leaf Storm. Um, would be interesting to see if this has HP Fire and if HP Fire would actually kill the Tangles. Not really sure if it would kill. You see, Knockoff getting rid of the leftovers. Laurentis is really thrilled, good lord. Leaf Storms again. And you can potentially go for synthesis now. Laurent is putting in that work, eating up that HP fire. Going for synthesis, yeah, I don't know why the fucking tank was better than Laurent, that's funny as fuck. And Black Oven said in the chat, why am I slower? So he's just going for synthesis. He's probably gonna go leave some more HP fire here, as Lanners could send out. He just wants health, goes for synthesis again, which makes sense. And Utah doesn't do much. I assume this is a bulky Laurentis. Yeah, I don't know if it's like max defense, but it's some sort of bulky Laurentis. You turn it into Tangos on the Leaf Storm. Oh, HP Fire, Bob, that doesn't even kill at plus 4. Laurentis is disappointing. But Laurentis gets one kill here potentially. So it goes for Synthesis again. Probably gonna go for Synthesis again, wanting to have as much health as possible on Laurentis the God. And you can finally go for Leaf Storm or one more Synthesis. HP fire, not wanting to miss, understandable. And you can probably go and do. Hmm. I don't know if Metagross can even kill this, because it's a max defense, I think. Laurentis eats that up, gets another kill. Laurentis getting two kills already. Laurentis getting something. I don't care what anyone else says. This thing is a god. Kelly is in. He's gonna sack off his Laurentis here. No point in keeping a monitor at 2%, and it's outspat by everything. Brings in his Magnus. He's gonna click uh, Flash Can here, predicting Laurentis or Zygarde. Or maybe double out into uh, something that can hit those mons. Doubles out into Aerodactyl with Ice Fang. Go to the goat. Ice Fang's always. He really predicted the kill. You know, he just sacks up the land. So no reason. Okay, okay. He went for Earthquake, which would hit the Kelly a bit harder than Ice Fang. As well, he pivots out into Kelly, which is a great play. And gets it in on the Ice Fang. Gets crit, which is a bit annoying. But he's pretty free to click Surf or Scald here. Quick serve as Solvus Magnus on Belly avoids a 2 KO. And I think we're gonna sleep. Flash can now double out again. Doubles out into Aerodactyl, and the Ice Fang is gonna come out out of Earthquake. I think the Ice Fang is the land of is obvious anyway. Rock's arrow there would have been goat to have double rocks and get him lame up. But yeah, Sex of the Land as the arrow gets brought onto 50. Forest Scuff Kill, you're gonna pick up a kill here. As Magnuson will get 2 it killed from Serve. And then he can go into his uh, Scarchomp, which is probably Scarf Chomp, and click Earthquake or Dragon Claw. I'm um, probably Earthquake, because that's a Coco. 
he sacks the Coco off. I think he's gonna. Yeah, he's off quick in here. Coco's dead. But Zygarde lives any hit. You can also go Kelly if he has Icy Win on that. But Zygarde is gonna go for Outrage probably here. Or Dragon Dance. I don't know. Probably Outrage. No, not Dragon Dance. That's not the play. What? He Dragon Dance. So does he have like a Berry? Oh, he's Dragonium! Devastating Drake blows the. <laughs> the Aerodactyl and the wind. I mean, a regular Outrage would have killed it anyway. But yeah, he, out he doesn't outspeed, but he can go for E speed, which brings the guard charm in range to die from uh, Scarf Kelly, or probably? No, it doesn't. It's at 63. So maybe the Kelly has to hit a Hydro Pump. I'm not sure if that's a roll. Kelly should Surf. Maybe Surf. I think Surf, Hydro Pump. Stone Edge Secret so it should be get Kelly's new set that that uh, XP didn't do as much as I was expecting. But Outrage kills the Zyra guys, so we will see. This comes down really close. As well, you send out the Kelly. Let me know already what is going on. Goes for Hydro Plum and the Garchomp lives on 1%. And Black Oblivion with the narrow 1 0 victory in his favor for the BBC Kings and many Brolic's team. The heat is here, the heat is now, you already know. And I will hover over to I will go over to the forums, let you guys know the score and everything. So yeah, you guys see here. Um, I uploaded Gypsy vs Finch already. That was a disappointing game. I uploaded um, DJ vs Sabala, and now this game that I couldn't catch live, Black Balloon vs Bowie. I got I have to replay for you, so I can kind of understand how Finch, w what Finch did yesterday, because his team was in the back two and this Black Oblivion game happened before Finch's game. And like, if you get a free win like that, I guess you can take it, even though it's kind of bullshit, but I can understand his reasoning behind it. I am really hyped for PokéGG Gamer vs Lighthouse. I hope I can catch that. TL6 vs Eternal, I think they're playing today. And I hope you guys all enjoyed. I'm gonna get this up ASAP. And I have one more game recorded yesterday live that where my audio got lost, and I have to re narrate that, so I'll do that later or the next day. And Hope you enjoyed this coverage. Stay tuned for my man's BTB. My man BTB is a circle jerk game with Tony. He's gonna post narrate that for you guys because I missed it live because I had to catch some sleep. And he's in a different time zone. And yeah, peace out, friends.